In this video, we're going to be looking at calculations, both calculated measures and calculated attributes using BIMES calculation engine. The difference between a calculated measure and a calculated attribute is that a calculated measure will return a numeric value or a quantitative value, whereas a calculated attribute will return a qualitative attribute or more likely than not, text values. We'll take a look at each one of these in turn. Firstly, a standard calculated measure. This is one where we're going to type the formula in ourselves using one of the over 100 different functions that BIME has available in its calculation engine. To better find the function you wish to use, we could filter by category here. Attribute, date, logical, numeric, text, for example. We also have up-to-date currency and weather functions too. So I'm going to start by creating my first calculated measure, gold revenue. What we're going to do is we're going to try and create a calculation which will give us the revenue just for the gold client plan. To do this, we're going to need to use an if then else expression. By makes the job of creating your formula much easier. You just start by typing. So I'm going to need an if then else. So I type if and press return. This will give me the skeleton of my formula. And all I need to do now is fill in the blanks. In order to show all of the attributes available, I'm going to start by tapping a open square bracket. By selecting my attribute, I can press return and it will be entered into my formula. What I want to say is if my client plan equals gold, then I want to return the sum of my revenue, like so. And all I need to do is to type sum, open bracket, and the first part of my measure name. I press return, and it will be put into my formula. There is no else in this case, so we can remove that part. The formula will auto-check and tell you that everything's OK, and all I need to do now is click Save. This new calculated measure will then be available in my measures. Just to show that this worked OK, I'm going to put the goal the revenue calculated measure with client plan in rows in a query. And we can see that the revenue for the gold client plan is returned. In this next example, we're going to use another if-then-else expression, but this time we're going to try and get the revenue for supply subtypes which contain the word level. To do so, I'm going to start by typing if, as we did before, and return. Only this time we're going to be using the contains function. So I'm going to start by typing contains, press return, we're then going to be asked to specify which attribute we want to be looking for this text in. So again, I'm going to tap the open square bracket to give me all of my different attributes. And I'm going to select supply subtype and return. The text to search in this case will need to be put between quotes. And that will be simply level. And again, we want to return the sum of our revenue. So now once I save and I add this new calculated measure into my query, we'll be able to see that the calculation has returned all of the supply subtypes that contain the word level. The next type of calculated measure available is a date range calculated measure. This allows us to apply a date range to a specific measure. In this case, I'm going to create something which is last month sessions in our Google Analytics data. I need to select the measure, in this case sessions, based on a date, there's only one in this case. And here we're going to use our simple options and select last month. So to sum up, sessions based on last month and save. This calculation will then be available 
in my measures to apply to queries. Let's do another date range calculator measure, only this time let's take the month before, that's to say the previous month. So again, we'll select the relevant measure, but this time we're going to be using the advanced date options. What I want to do now is I want to take a date range of two months in the past until two months in the past and save. I can then add this second date range calculated measure with my first and by using a KPI visualization type from here when I apply we'll be able to see the last month sessions that's to say the first measure in my query and we'll be able to see an arrow indicating whether the trend is up or down. We can modify further this query in terms of how it looks in chart configuration options. The chart section we have the show variation checkbox which will allow us to see the exact amount of variation between these two measures. The next type of calculated measure is a time comparison calculated measure. Let's create one now. We're going to create a last year comparison. Firstly, we're going to select the relevant measure, in this case sessions, the relevant date, and the offset level. In this case, it's going to be a yearly offset level with an offset of minus one. So one year prior to the data in the query. Let's see what this does when we add it to our query, which is sessions over year and month. We'll need to modify the date range to show from one year in the past. And here we can see for March, for example, the figure for 2014 compared with the figure for 2015. Fixed calculated measures allow you to create constants for benchmarking and comparison purposes. If we look at our example query here, which is revenue by client plan, we can see that the gold client plan is our best in terms of revenue. So we could create a fixed calculated measure in order to benchmark the others against this goal plan. Firstly, I'm going to name my fixed calculated measure and we're going to use the simple options to select the relevant measure. And then we're going to restrict it for the values of a particular attribute, in this case, client plan and the gold value. When I add this new gold benchmark into my query, you'll see that the value is indeed fixed for all of the client plans. We could then perhaps use result manipulation options to create a result measure calculation, which would calculate the difference between the two. So that would be sum revenue minus sum gold benchmark, for example. When we add this in, we can then see the difference between them. The last type of calculated measure available is a benchmark measure, which helps you to create global calculations for comparisons on secured connections. We'll take a look at these in more detail when we look at publishing our dashboards via secured attributes.